house in Christmas 99 and I saw lots of kids studying trying to study English without any materials. At that time it cost two and a half dollars to study English every day for one month. I met a novice and he had really good English and he had his notebook and he asked me a question and I said, what did the teacher say? And he said, oh, I don't go to English class. I can't afford to go to English class. I copy my friend's notebook who goes to English class. That's the point where I had seen enough and I thought, wow, you know, what would happen if you gave people access to whatever it is they need to study? So I began a grand experiment in how to give people what they needed to go after their dreams. We're in the north of Laos. Luang Prabang is a beautiful UNESCO World Heritage Town, but we're full of kids that have migrated in from the countryside to study. Most kids, by the time they're 12 years old, come from a small enough place that they don't have lower secondary school readily accessible, so they have to move somewhere for education. Many, many kids move to Luang Prabang and then luckily for us, after they're finished with their education, they go back out into the north of Laos and share their skills and their knowledge and their ideas. So it started as an English library and we had kids who weren't interested in English, but they were interested in learning about the world. So we decided to expand into whatever it is that somebody wanted to learn, or whatever it was that we saw as a gap in their education. We concentrate a lot on thinking, on problem-solving skills, and on creativity. Because we're a charity, we're working on ways to earn our own money. Although we always love and depend on donations, we always like funding because it enables us to get exactly what we want and what we need and pay salaries. The other night we were looking for certain photos and I found some. I found ones of one of our students when he was 12 playing with Legos. And now he's in America, fully funded scholarship to the university.